Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Adventure Quest news. Let's get right into it. Okay, okay. Let's start off. Item stack glitch update. The bugs team and Captain Rebarb fixed an issue with item stacking an issue. Uh, to thank all of you for the reports of help and patience, we're putting up a weekend long double server boost. So double everything all weekend long. If you're missing some XP, if you need some gold, need to rank up a class, that's the time to do it. Uh, controversial uh to remove that glitch where you could stack items i didn't know how to do it i've never done it uh but i know a lot of people did do it a lot of legit farmers actually would stack items on top of each other to make it easier for them to farm more efficient of course uh and they're probably gonna miss that or they're definitely gonna miss that now that it's gone so you can talk about that in the comment section i really don't have an opinion either way if they didn't like it in the game i guess it's okay to remove it but if you're if your whole player base or a majority of your player base enjoyed having more stacks on their items, maybe leave it like that. I don't know. It uh, doesn't really make sense to remove something that a lot of your player base enjoys. Uh, but if, they, if that's their choice to remove it, that's their choice to remove it. Let's move on. Okay, so Artix had a tweet that was deleted. I didn't screenshot it, sadly. Uh, it is deleted. I had it bookmarked and it was deleted today, so... Because through the week, I'll bookmark different things I want to talk about on the news video. PSA. Uh, one second. All right, the PSA triggered me. So I wanted to talk about this in a video. Uh, YouTube changed how notifications are handled. So if you don't have the bell like that, and it says you'll get all notifications in the bottom corner, then you won't get notifications from my channel. So if you want them, make sure you hit that bell. I'll probably talk about this one more time, and then I'll never mention it in a video for quite a while. So that's just a short little notification a PSA per se okay but back to this PSA uh, for the moment we ha we are uh, we had to set the treasure chest to unable to be sold this is a temporary measure only we appreciate you for being patient and below that subtweeted is update uh, you're now able to sell treasure chest keys and alien overlord again so this was part of a test server glitch for unlimited ACs and Fortnite is opening one second all right, I close that. All right, so there was a glitch for Infinite ACs. Just thought I'd keep you up to date on that, and it was patched, so you can't do it. Don't ask about it in the comment section. I used it for clickbait. Moving on. Asuka, one of the devs that uh, chooses how many times you need to farm that Nullgav quest to get the item. That guy. Uh, this is going to be a fun... This, this year, it's going to be so much fun for me, not you. So... I heard you guys like farming and grinding. Hints towards maybe some more end game content in AQ. That would be nice. Car Clasher, which was confirmed to release this month, is now releasing next month. That's that's about all on that. It'll be in here Mart sometime in April. April starts on Sunday, which is also April Fools and Easter. So here's an image from Elena's Twitter of a bunch of staff all farming the new war. They have 53 turn-ins, and it's at 0%, so it's probably going to be like a 1 million plus uh, turn-in sort of event. And it's a two-sided war between Dage and Lakin. Whatever side wins, that guy's running the Legion, I guess? I don't know. Well, because I don't know, I looked on the side notes, and there's a post here. You can fight to defend Lakin and save him for himself. Save him from, save him from himself. Or fight to protect Dage and take Lakin down. Uh, so Lakin's an artist that doesn't work for AE anymore, so I don't know why there'd be an option to keep him in the game, because that wouldn't be beneficial to anyone. Dage sort kind of works on it, but not really, but, so they're both kind of retired artists, uh, both working on, uh, fighting each other, I guess. So there's confirmed rewards at 25, 75, and 100 war boss, so probably drops, war chest at 75, and a lot more war quests, uh, and a chance to get more gear, so that's pretty cool. There's also this armor here, which is also on Elena's character page. Cutting this in here, I missed the talking about it. Uh, complete the war quest will give you a chance to earn the pieces of Blood Legion Warrior on Lycan's side or Undead Seraph Warrior or Sph I heard Arctic say this. It's not Seraph, it's like, I don't know, it's it's a made up word. Uh, I think it's made up, I, I say that sometimes, but and they're not made up words, I am just don't know what the word it is. Um, yeah, Undead Warrior. Deja side armor sets. So there's two armor sets depending on what side wins. That's probably going to be for the 100% shop depending on what side wins. I forgot to say that, so I'm saying it now. So we get a close-up look to it. 
Of course, it's a recolor of previous ones, and that's not animated. And we've had this armor in game for a few times before that. Pretty cool armor. I'm definitely going to pick it up. It looks nice. And uh, yeah. Krulong is making a return. We back uh, with a badass set. Looks really good. And it's definitely in his style. There's elf ears on this if you didn't notice that. Uh, and uh, yeah, really cool bird as a cape sort of thing. Or maybe it's a pet. If you scroll down from this tweet, it's just the bird by itself. And he also has a gold version of the bird on his Twitter. I'll leave that link down below if you want to see that for yourself. Uh, Krulong also tweeted out a set of weapons from the same artist. Of course, this will also be linked. That looks really badass, that sword right there. Not a big fan of the uh, the gold engraving. He does this on a lot of his art. This uh, this gold kind of like layered sort of... It kind of looks... I don't know. There's depth to it, but I don't, I'm not a big fan of that color or like how it looks. I, I, don't, I can't really explain what I don't like about it. I'm just not really a big fan of that hilt right there. But the blade looks so good if it had a purple hilt or like a black hilt oof, that look that'd be a sick sword uh looks nice and uh these items are three tiers so maybe there'll be a quest line in the future where you gotta rank up the items pretty cool now i'm not completely sure if this is news or not i i can't remember honestly if this has been the game now it's not in our items list like nothing's in our items list so it's just loaded onto our character this looks like a moon, sort of uh, midnight version of, uh, it is the Blaze Binder armor. It's a recolored version of Blaze Binder armor. So we might be getting a our, and it's in game. So I'm not sure if it's released before though. That's what I'm not sure about. Is this new? Comment down below if this is new or not. I'm not sure. And that is all we have for today. Like I said before, make sure you got that, uh, that bell thing on if you want notifications from this channel. I only upload AQ on this channel. My second channel is for Fortnite. I uploaded a Fortnite with a new guided missile launcher. I got a win with that. So I upload that to my second channel if you want to check that out. Uh, second channel should be, uh, just go to my channel page and it's on there. Uh, here's a quick tutorial on how to get to my second channel. Click on my channel. It'll be on the sidebar right here. It says Corey. Or if you scroll down, it'll also be right here. And you could just click subscribe to it if you want. Or you can go to it and check out the videos on it. So. There you go. There's a little tutorial. Uh, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this. If you did, leave a like. Comment down below what you're looking forward to. And I'll see you guys all tomorrow on the live stream. Uh, we'll be playing the new war. And hopefully we get the 25% or something on that live stream tomorrow. I'll see you guys then. Thanks for tuning in. Peace. Thought I'd put this at the very end for the diehard dedicated watchers of the news videos. A little secret. This is a helmet that was on Reen's character page that I don't think anyone knows about except for the people that stayed to watch the end of this video because I didn't see anything about it on Twitter and here it is. So this was in a cutscene uh, if you watched last week's uh, live stream or if you played through the last week's event. This was from a cutscene. This was on Reen's character page. If you clicked on it nothing happened but uh, there was a helmet like this in game. That's not Dage's default. That's like a smiling like happy looking Dage. So that's a helmet and it might be a war reward. We'll see. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you guys all in the next one. Peace.